Mr. Happy Dog, Mr. Happy Dog. It was such a relief to ski into the finish area. I got such a big nose, so it's all over the place. I'm so sorry, Mr. Tadell. <laughs> I've been competing on the Freeride World Tour for five years now, and there's only one thing missing. Winning in Verbier. And this season, I'm going all in. This is my road to Verbier. So me and Carl, on our way to the first Freeride World Tour stop, flying to Barcelona. So we made it to Barcelona. Carlos lost his bag, but then found it again. So we're gonna pick up the rental car and drive to Andorra. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Freeride World Tour 2021 is off. We are in Ordino Arcalis in beautiful Andorra. So we're almost up at the start gate. We can see some of the top part of the run from here. It's probably gonna, a, gonna be a fast run. Christopher Tudel now in the start gate. Standing in the stock gate for the first time of the season, it's so many mixed feelings. Super nervous, so many thoughts circulating in your head and just trying to put all of them out and just focus on the run. It's so calm when, we're, when you're free skiing, you want to go for a coffee, drops out of the stock gate and you get fireworks. I'm not sure what happened. I've never seen a binding, the toe piece uh, release straight up before, like it is. So that was obviously the end of my first comp this year. Not super stoked about it because you, you have to qualify to the f final in Verbier. So it's always nice to have a good result right out from the start. But uh, this year, that did not happen. most important part about the free red skiers life the internet this week call we're, we're at eight and a half hour and i was only at six so i'm gonna try to beat him next week yep yep i guess that's true i can show you i'm actually kind of proud of this i don't know why i should be proud of this increase with 70 uh, percent eight hours and 30 minutes per day I really want to hit uh, 10 hours. Then, I, then, then I'm, I'm gonna feel like a winner. <laughs> but I don't get it why people complain so much about our internet time. And you can learn. I mean, internet is so nice. It's so much to do on the yeah. internet. <laughs> Lately, my internet time has been all about uh, physics and black holes, space time. So, I got a, we, before the comp, we got a picture of the comp face. And, um, what I did, I was like, okay, where's all the features that I could possibly hit on this face? Then uh, you try to read the snow, angles of landings, you wanna have a steep landing, uh, and ski the good snow and link together full run. That's how I do it at least. Uh, maybe it's better to just choose one line uh, and focus on that, but uh, I always like check it off. The vibe is high here in Ordino, Arcalis and Doraman and we are ready to go. Super excited to see this go down again here today in Ordino, Arcalis, the second stop of the Free Ride World Tour. Mr. Happy Dog, Mr. Happy Dog. Three, two, you guys. Drop in. It was such a relief to ski into the finish area and 
Uh, I knew I could have done a better run, but I was actually super happy with the run I put down. And skiing into the Finnish arc, I could see Reina Barkred was in the hot seat, which meant he's leading the comp. And I was kind of a late bib, so he, he, I figured he had put down a really good run too, so I was super happy to see him there. Uh, sorry for taking the hot seat. Always psyched to see you, buddy, sitting in the hot seat. First place for Christopher Tudel, 89.67. You know that's a big relief for Christopher to put one down. So at this point in the backflip, I realized I was going to land on my skis and it felt super good, but I was really close to these rocks to my right side hand. I'm pointing right to where that rock, so I, was like, I had like a split second to just put my right ski up just not to crash into that rock. Everything went so fast, so I didn't really think about doing it, but after watching the clip, I was like, oh, that was a little bit too close. But the technique on this man is so perfect that he puts down the backflip in a different place and just bounces over a rock on the landing. He is not bothered by that, not bothered. That was a wild place to do a backflip. Carlos, did you see the TV show, The Queen's Gambit? Yeah. Should we play some chess? Sure. Let's do it. Yesterday I won, so I guess I will win today. Now I've been up all night, night studying chess openings. What did you do? Why are you doing this? This is our morning, this is the training we get today. Oh, okay. So, the second chess game of the season. Mm -hmm. I think and How you know, did the first one win? Carl Rene won. Easily. And that's me. I won. So today we're here to learn some chess strategies from Carl Ligné. Doing some quick uh, chess tactics while Christopher is talking to his brother. This uh, upcoming uh, chess tournament is as important as winning the Federal World Tour. Maybe even more. Are you thinking about the Sicilian opening? No, this is another one. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win on five. Um, five moves. Five moves. Hmm? I'm gonna see. If your next move is with the horse, I know what you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Tudel. <laughs> Okay, I lost five, five moves. I really, really hope we can ski tomorrow. This is shit. Uh, we're in a hurry to get up to the mountain because it's a powder day. Look at this. It's one or two millimeter of fresh ice. Uh, looks white on the webcams. And uh, the pistol says it's so 10 centimeters, but we're hoping for 20 or maybe 30 centimeters. It actually looks really good up here. I think we had at least 15 centimeters snow. Here on the top at least. So let's make a run and, and hope for the best. It's unexpectedly good actually. This is easily the best snow I skied all winter. It's the first day outside and it's a bluebird day. We have some race power in Engelberg where the terrain is super fun and playful. Life couldn't be better right now. It's amazing.
might burn my nose. I'm not sure. I got such a big nose, so it's all over the place. However I turn my head, the, the nose is always in the sun. Oh, I wanna go. I wanna go. It's you and uh, Slatan Ibrahimovic. Who's that? Slatan? Uh, football guy, I don't know. Oh, okay. From Malmö, down yeah. south. He's not, yeah. he's not very good at skiing. Maybe a nice guy, never heard of him. I mean, it's a lot of work. It's like, first you need to ski, then it's 10 hours on, on uh, internet, you know, working. Yeah, and that combination, skiing and keeping up the hours and hours of the internet time, leaves no room for sleeping, so... It's a lot of work. Got an update from the Briard World Tour that they're aiming to do the next comp in Fieberbrunn on Friday. It is crunch time here in beautiful Fieberbrunn, Austria. 